King does a lot of work. What's good, guys? Got more SPL for you. Got Colin in the call this time. Um, yeah, he said earlier to Mikla Fable, just wins for fun. And I <laughs> yeah. told him it's Auras and they're both brutal Fable, so maybe it's like some nice T wave action. Clefable was Clefable War. If the, if he can like get the the Nido King in, like it like, gets like a kill almost every time. Nido King is scary. If it if it had more speed, it would be broken. It's like some. It's kind of like Greninja to me. Like he gets it in on like a Volt Switch from from the Rotom. It's like pretty much getting a kill. Nido King with Volt on is so good, but yeah, usually you see like tornadoes on with Nido King paired. So. Mega Metagross if it has Bullet Punch and something to it, he turn it kind of runs through the team. But uh, I don't think it has Bullet Punch, let me check, let me look at his team. So the Scarf was either the Kelly or the, or the Chomp, probably. I don't think he has Scarf, the Scarf is so slow. Yeah. Maybe Banta or... Like, I think it's probably Band. What the rock are like, we like? Rocks jump or rocks clef? I I I think it'd be rocks clef, but because what's a I mean what's a scarfer if it's not? Yeah, I just jump. don't get why everyone is running rocks clef because Sable got banned in Auras. so there's not really the point. The main yeah like purpose was that you get rocks versus store. So this is I don't know if you would vote switch here, but this kind of free will a wisp. Yeah, he's probably but just wisping here. I go clef every time here. Yeah, exactly. Watch, watch him beat like but scarf, it, scarf trick. And if he, if he volt switches here on the clef, yeah, Nido King comes in. Nido King, Nido King comes in. The only counterplay to Nido King is to go like Metagross or Guard Chomp on a Sludge Wave. Yeah. If he, if he like predicts well with Nido King, like Clefable, can't, can't even like do shit to uh, Nido King. So he could would just. You, would you volt switch here or would you wisp? On the ladder, I would vault switch in a tournament. I don't know. <laughs> actually, actually, I don't even know if I would do that on the ladder. Um, let me think. Maybe hydro pump as a mid ground play. Wow. Hydro pump oh, would wow. be like the mid ground would... play, because if you hydro pump, you kind of force the cleft to heal. I don't know why he, d he doubled the cleft. Yeah, I don't I mean, get I it. Guess maybe he didn't want to take an outrage or something, but so you could just burn it. Maybe if it was like he thought maybe it was like SD Lum or something. I know that he I know that he needs to roll him healthy for the for the Metagross, but that was yeah, weird. That's true. It was still weird because he let off with roll him. Like why would you lead it if you just switch it out? So Scarf Tran is not really a set, so I don't think it's Rock's Cliff. No. Okay. Okay, that, that didn't work out for X at all. The cleft just got a free no. switch. In. Yeah, that doesn't work out at all. Like, but I guess, I guess like he's pretty safe going to Nido King. He's here. probably doubling here because he cannot let the Nido King come in. But he can Volt switch. I mean, I guess he could he could go. Oh yeah, right, challenge, right. But... Um, Legend of the Norse. Uh, Genesis might go for a knockoff here. If he has yeah, that. that. Could be. But I don't think he's that sad because he already had rocks on Chomp. It would probably calm mind, I guess, right? Cause he's... Yeah. I don't know if it would be common T wave or common uh, bolt beam or common like. What's the other set? Common T wave, common. There's a third set that I forgot. Flamethrower, maybe. I don't know. He's kind of like Sizz weak. Like common knock of use sometimes. Yeah, he is Sizz weak. Um, he only has Kelly to check Sizz, and that's not reliable. Because with the rocks and everything and chip damage from U-turn a bullet punch. So, so he, predict, he did predict the volt switch. Yeah. Um, but it's like, what is it? What is this doing? Like maybe if it's SD, like SD Lom rocks. I don't know. Yeah, it's either weak. Like maybe he wants to weaken this for Metagross. But they're not sure. So here's a Lari. Poik already also had a Lari earlier. That's interesting. Like. What's the purpose for, for Lari on this team? Healing Wish into what? In the Nido King? Isn't Nido King like really frail? Well, I don't like, like if he's pain split, which he should be, it's like I feel like you can be a little risky because you can pain split pretty freely on like the cl on the clef and shit. Yeah. And the, I mean, like depending on some other sets. 
I don't know. Some Metagross don't even run Zen Headbutt. At least the yeah. Sun and Moon. I don't remember Auras. I haven't played Auras in a month. Yeah, I, I don't really know what like a, the Metagross set would be now for a, for an Auras met, Metagross. Oh, X. Hard X. Yeah. So that was probably Llama Life Orb. Yeah, it's, I, I would I would assume it's Llama. Like you don't. I don't yeah, think the way he's SD. the way he's playing it makes sense. But I don't know what Axel's doing. Like eventually, like you have to burn the, like burn the Llama at one or like. Hard it's either it, it's either Llama or Sash. So it's like you could, like if if it has a chance to be Sash, you have like the chance of your Weavile like just dying. Hard I mean, move. Would have been. I guess you have two play. checks to it. Like Ladius and Weavile both like offensively check it. I guess. But yeah. So you're went, still losing a mom. You went hard Weavile down the SD. <laughs> Could be Sash, but I don't think it's Sash. Yeah, I, I would guess that it's Lum, but I'm not. It could be Sash. Too, like he, you know? he got a Brock's turn one. He just didn't care about Will Wisp, so it's probably Lum. Yeah. See, that's. I just think that like Axel's playing this so like weird. Yeah, if he was Scarf HP on his turn, maybe this would have made some more sense. But what did he predict there? He predicted him to go Clef. Like the first turn when he switched out, I think was like the weirdest play. But what did this play into like heat turn? What did he predict? I have no idea. Because if you predict something to come in, you can just vault switch. Yeah, I don't get it. Oh, okay. I mean, Clefable kind of awkward is I don't even think Ice Beam Oko's Clef's kind of weak. Yeah. But at least he kept the Rotom healthy, so that's something. But yeah, he, he doesn't sort of need it healthy, but this Trump puts in a lot of work. But if that's... Oh, nice pivot. Yeah. The, the thing so is, like, Banzar we'll plus Keldeo... If it's Banta plus Kelly, it's like really scary for Excel 10 2. Yeah. Depending on the cleft set, but so still either way. If he's not Sash, he's going cleft probably. Damn, he's doubling into predicting the cleft. Oh god. Yeah, so it's definitely it's definitely um nice play. That's a really good play by Axel Clef. 10. Mm -hmm. He was like he was behind the eight ball almost like the entire like first couple turns and now he's like in, in the driver's seat right now. I mean, he has rocks on his side, but that was like really nice. Some nice three doubles, or two doubles. Watch him sludge with the laddie here. <laughs> nah, I think he's just off power here. It's oh. probably like the four attack set, right? It's not the ABR set, but sub. It's off power. Um. Was that Blunder? Who was that one like T Spot Nido King with three attacks? Yeah, that, that's what's bad to do. <laughs> Cause he said like something you don't need off power, Heatron doesn't stay in anyway. Yeah, you have to earth. I would have earth guard nice. too. Okay, yeah. so Nido King's gone, like. Doesn't Clefable just win now, kinda? Like. Yeah, he and there's still a tram. He has his own cliff. I mean, what's Tran doing back if it's not taunt? If it's not flesh skin? It, sh it, sh it should be taunt, though. Tran can't switch in, though, because if it comes in on T wave. Yeah, but if still. If it is that sad. Like, that set is so stupid. Beats all it. Like, it can beat Gengar 1v1 if it gets, like, 2 or 3 paras. Because, like, para is pretty good in Auras. Now it got nerfed. Clefable like outsped everything. Now you, now you only like outspeed some things. You don't outspeed Laris anymore and stuff like that and Gengar. I don't like. If he knew that the Earth Power wasn't gonna kill, like shouldn't he have made a different play? Yeah, but what was the switch switch in their Clef? I I guess maybe like yeah I guess it would have to be the Clef, but. Like he, I feel like he has like it's so tough for him now to put offensive pressure on. So Genesis. I don't even know if knockoff would kill this, but he kind of like has to knock off to kill you here. I feel like 
Oh, I guess he can low kick too. Like he has rocks on his side and he lost a mon, I don't see how... And also the Metagross just runs through him if Rodon takes any damage. So I don't really see how Axel can win. Okay, made the knockoff play. Okay, what's the back scale here? I mean, at least now, like, the laddie doesn't, doesn't have to worry about being trapped, really, but... Yeah. Still, he's, like, so... So, like, like the laddie doesn't really pressure um, Genesis' team at all. He has, like, a gross eclat. Yeah. So... He might double the Metagross, but he doesn't have to. He can just... You can just hydro pump. Like I don't, f I don't think he has to make any plays now. He's like Genesis. Yeah, I just scald here. I know scald kills. That's well, probably would hydro, but yeah. <clears throat> Secret sword works. Just saw it in case the cleft comes in. I wanted to hydro and at least get some damage on that. See, that's the other thing is that like he could have played his Rotom like a little more aggressively, like because one though this isn't doing anything, so if it has healing wish, like yeah, true. I mean, like this is like this is literally doing absolutely nothing. He basically had three counts. I mean, it can get the defog off here if it has that. That would be nice. Oh, it's, it's mega. mega. I know I guess what. I known that from previous yeah, I don't know why I didn't think about that. So is it the is it the command set or the bolt beam? Probably the bolt beam one with T wave. And Blanda said, "This is literally an old Axel team with CB Weavile." I don't know. Did he use this in another turn or something? I haven't like been watching tournaments in the past. Yeah, this cleft really does some damage, especially GT the waves TV. here. Yeah. Yep. Oh, That's what man. I meant. You cannot bring heat turn hard in. You have to yeah. pivot from oh, yeah, Rotom to Tran, over. and then Rotom takes damage. If you pivot from bottom to Tran with Volt Switch, they can even predict that and TWF again on the Volt Switch. Clefable is just stupid. Like, I run like Excadrill and Auras all the time because they cannot T wave me, but then I had Flamethrower, so I was like. Yeah, Flamethrower Clef's super good in Auras. And he was forced to taunt there because he couldn't let him see him up. I mean, Axel just goes into Clef here probably, but yeah, Earthquake is pretty free. He can double, the, not double the cross doesn't, it's not necessary. Yeah, like this Tron puts so much pressure on him, like, he has really no safe switch like, besides like Rotom. Rotom it, comes in, but SD. if Rotom gets weakened, it's bad too. What did he predict? The Clive or the Rodon? I guess he just wanted yeah, to yeah. fire off a bandit edge, destroy something. Yeah, that was a good play. Because like otherwise the T-Tar wasn't doing anything unless he was coming in on this. So Stone Edge either crits or misses. Maybe he has well, like... I guess it could come on with Tran now that it's paralyzed too. Maybe he has like Iron Head. ABR runs bandit Iron Head. It's not a set, but it's... <laughs> No Maybe Iron that. Head's right here. Just yeah, ABR just said it in the chat. Iron Head, please. <laughs> the only tar. Right, that's it. Actually, not that much. I thought it would do 80. Yeah, so is that like Bold Clef? Yeah, probably. Clef is like a weird mod. It doesn't even have that good stats, and it still kind of walls everything. That's not Bandit or Specs. Yeah, this gross is about to put in a lot of work, especially if it's Zen headbutt. Like, you have to hope this doesn't have a move to hit Heatran. But if Heatran comes in, that 
He doesn't. He just like he doesn't have any uh, hazard control, does he? Axel does. So like the Weavile can only offensively check this like a couple more times. Yeah, I think he has to even, rely on even this. Even if he has bullet punch, I think he has to rely on this not being able to like hit the Heatran. But what is Heatran even doing? It's paralyzed. Yeah, exactly. This gives the free switch into Kelly or potentially jump. Even though he probably doesn't want to risk jump on a lava plume. I mean, he's just probably just Zen or Mesh here. Zen would be fire because Rodan might get too KO'd with sand. And snap. Okay, if he has like. Zen Headbutt might kill from here if he has the boost. Probably doesn't kill if it's like defensive. That did 14, that's 4 times resistant. Metagross is broken. Night. I, I think you like like looking at this team like you should probably be like the elemental punches. And what would the last move be? Just stab or pursuit or no nah, pursuit obviously not. He has a Tita. Um, and now maybe like BP. This team is kind of slow. I mean, he could be agility or rock polish if he's slow. Yeah. If his team is slow, but I don't like that stuff that much. So he probably doesn't have Zen Headbutt. He doesn't even need it, like, like this run, like, doesn't, isn't doing anything. If he has Calm Mind, doesn't he just win here? Pretty much. I mean, the train can, like, if it doesn't get unlucky, you can still check it, but... Again, yeah, any time the train comes in, like, the guard chomp's coming in for yeah, free. Yeah, for free, because he's forced to taunt, kinda. And he has, and he's alone too, so... Oh yeah, he cannot even get Lava Plume burn. Yeah, I don't know if it's in, how it's in Sun and Moon, but like Aura's most matches kind of get decided from preview. Yeah. Like, I knew from preview the Metagross would put in work, but I didn't know that that Axel would lose this so fast. Like, it's over, like only turn 17 and he's already losing. I think like him psyching the Nido King was like... Like he had a bad matchup in the first place, but yeah. like you knew you knew that that earth power wasn't gonna kill. Yeah, what what should he have done? Then maybe go into rebound on the crunch. Ooh, he has yeah. the, he has the attack. If in doubt, um, T wave. I mean, he doubled to Nido King, knowing the T tar was coming in. So it's like if you were new and knew the T tar was coming in, like I think you should have gone like a clef, especially seeing as it's like defensive clef. Okay, I mean I guess this could be a bit more interesting now that the cliff is T-Wave, but in the long run... Garchomp plus... Uh, Metagross still wins pretty much. Oh, he's low, he's, yeah. on, he's on 30 seconds. Yeah, that Garchomp is really the thing that's gonna put in like a ton of work. Like, if Axel didn't have oh, hazards... Shit. Oh no. Oh shit, he's about to time out. If Axel didn't have hazards on his side, Damn, that kind of sucks. turn oh, was turned time. off. Until stuff says it's okay, do not turn it back. <laughs> Wait, what the fuck? Oh, he put it back on and turned it off again. <laughs> Holy shit. Yeah, I don't know. This is still gonna be really like I don't think Axel gonna win at this point. <laughs> the blunder Genesis is so noble and kind. <laughs> I was gonna post the Finch quote. What's the Finch quote? It's probably better this way. Avoid the hell of recreating. I mean, let me see if there's a way he can win. He didn't, or oh, he's probably Rockstern, right? He didn't reveal his rocker yet. Yeah, I don't so, know. It's, I, I would assume so. But is he revealed on the cliff site? Not sure, let me see. His cliffable is called merely 
you see the family used it didn't reveal shit so if it's Clefab is like CMT wave on its own maybe that can win yeah that's like I feel like that's where his real only shot but still even when, even there's like a metagross still so yeah there's a metagross but The metagross can still get like walled by Heatran if it's not the right uh, kind of walled. And it can miss. But yeah, technically it's over. Yeah. Wait, they're gonna recreate this? What the fuck? Why, why is he not coming back? Like, he probably yeah, like. Man, he did. did he really re disconnect or did he like say, nope, I'm out of here, I'm not playing this? <laughs> he definitely DC'd. <laughs> it's like it's like the worst thing to happen to you because it's like not an exciting game either. Yeah, I'm gonna pause the recording. So he timed out now. I don't know. Like I restarted the recording. So not sure if this like counts or if they're gonna recreate. But they gave him like a few minutes and he didn't come back. I think, like, because he, he sent him his team before, so I think they're supposed to recreate. But, but there's not really a point in recreating this, the game's like over, but. Yeah. Like, someone made a joke that there was a tactical DC to, like, make a better game plan, but I don't think that's the case. <laughs> like, Excel 10, I don't think he's the guy to cheat like that, or like. I mean, I, ju I will just pause it again until we have, like, a solution, but. If not. Yeah, Excel 10's like streak just got stopped. Did Genesis even play yet in SP? Let me check his record. So yeah, I don't think this game is getting recreated. Uh, Genesis have made a post here. I believe I should win due to the fact that uh, timer was at 40 seconds. At the time of the disconnect, there should not be any discrepancy or however you pronounce it because of the above rule. Send this team in as well. There's like a rule if you like below 90 seconds and you like DC, I think you automatically lose something like that. I don't know the exact number. I don't know the exact rule, but yeah, if this gets recreated, um, I'll make a new video or something. I don't know, this like kind of ruined my video. But yeah, uh, Genesis basically had that match one anyway. Thank you guys for watching. This kind of ruined my like my day because like when I am, I'm super tired and this. <laughs> this disconnect has to happen, like the game would have been over already like mm, ages ago, like could have already had this game rendered. Yeah, of course this has to happen. So yeah, the only game that's like going on is some GSC, I'm not watching that shit. Like I don't know why people like that, let me click on it. Nice Executor, nice Vaporeon. <laughs> nice garbage as sprites, I don't... Um, yeah, if you like GXC, you can like, can you like leave a comment and explain what it's like interesting about that because I really don't like it um, <laughs> thanks uh, Colin or Avon Avon was your smogger name right for being on the video yeah that's it yeah so guys next time there are a lot, a lot of games coming tomorrow um probably they're gonna be like matches at the same time again because like Zamrock's game that should have happened earlier is like gonna be tomorrow I don't think when Aim is playing he's in DPP this week, so I'm also kind of hyped for that. I, even though I don't like DPP, but I want Aim, I want Aim to pick up his first win, and that's the that's it for now. Peace out, friends.